Okay, good morning everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you are all very, very well. I'm going to give this a few seconds to make sure that we are live today. So, this is your reading for the week ahead. So, the week of the 6th of June 2022. So this week I've decided to switch things up a little bit and we're only using oracle cards um, this week rather than bringing tarot into it as well because I'm looking at bringing new energetics into the group, really focusing in on soul purpose, what we need to do collectively, alignment, embodiment and all of those different energies. So we'll see how it goes without tarot um, in the picture. So let's talk about the decks that I'm using today. So I have my Akashic, I have my Akashic Tarot, so there is Tarot in there. Um, I'm using my Akashic Tarot rather than my regular Tarot. Um, Moonology, Starseed and the Rose Oracle and a new deck that I have called, um, it is called Heavenly Bodies Astrology um, and it's a really, really beautiful deck. So I'm going to do um, a deck review on that. I've got lots of deck reviews to do so I'm going to start to get through those because I'm finding um, the new decks that I've been connecting with really really powerful to help us to make change um, and to help us to um, really connect. Okay so that should be better. I thought I'd already done that. Okay, so, okay, so hopefully you can hear me now. So, I have some cards laid out in front of me. So, the collective energy is very much about rebirth. So, this is the Akashic Tarot card, and it is very much about letting go of what doesn't serve you so that you can really step into um, a new energy to rebirth your energy uh, really like this card because i feel that um there's a lot of positivity in this card there's the sun shining children playing lots of different things going on you've got all the nature and all of those different things so very much rebirth is important i feel that you know we we've, we've come we have chosen this time to um incarnate because we have something to offer the world to help people to grow and expand so it is time for a new start it is time for a new beginning and this seems to be the theme across all of the cards that have come up today okay so it could be that energetically you need a new beginning maybe you need a new beginning in relationships or even in your business a new beginning is calling to you and i feel that that's really really important as we go through the cards you will see that there's a lot of energetic energy a lot of connection to soul to alignment self-expression and all of those different things so this card is very much um, about the birth of something new okay so maybe there's a bit of fertility um, going on here um, it's very much about birthing something new okay and I feel and uh, collectively we're talking about our own energy okay so let's have a look so let's dig in these these are from um a new deck that i've just bought so this is the first time i've used these cards i don't know if you can see that so this is the sun okay and self in, self expression and embody truth so the sun reminds us to be the best versions of, of ourselves that we can be to show up in our lives authentically okay and in our own truth so a real connection to the sun and its energy um, about standing in our truth energetically doing um, different things okay so um, it this is the time to embody your truth you need to be able to connect in to your soul and really embody the truth of who you are, what you're here to do, what your core values are, what you stand for, all of those different things so that you can really show up in your life powerfully and authentically as well. So tune in and ask yourself the question, what is my truth? Okay, what am I here to do? 
okay because it's important that you become the person that you were born to become and that means we do need to um, remove society's beliefs and all of those different things so that we can really step into our own power okay so um the sun is masculine energy so there is a lot of masculine energy there so that says to me that there's work to be done okay it's not something that's going to just happen masculine energy for me is very much about taking action okay so you will need to take action to remove some of the things that are holding you back okay so it is very much about self-expression so you know maybe you compare yourself to others okay so you're not expressing yourself fully maybe you are afraid to speak your truth through persecution and all of those different things that come up from the witch wound so they will need healing okay um if you're comparing yourself to others then it's time to do that because no it's time to let go of that because nobody else is you okay no one else has your experience your knowledge your personality so when we start comparing ourselves with others there is actually no one else we can compare ourselves with because nobody is you you are unique and it's time to step into that unique power and that unique energy that you have okay so the more that you step into your truth the more powerful you will become the more creative you will become um, as well and you will be able to creatively express yourself more powerfully and you will feel more connected, more connected to yourself, more connected to the universe, more connected to the earth as well. So the sun is a really, really nice reminder that we do need to take action and we do need to express ourselves authentically and to embody our truth. Okay, so the immunology card that came up was have faith in your dreams we're just coming out of the waxing crescent moon now and uh, we're approaching the um the uh, first quarter moon um so it's nice that this came up um this week so it is important that you believe in your dreams and that you have faith that the universe is here to support you your soul knows what it's here to do okay and that's really really important you have a mission you have a soul mission and it's important to believe in that mission and take the necessary steps to help you to achieve that mission okay so this is from the star seed oracle so the golden children inner child tenderness innocence and rare gifts okay so there are golden children here that um struggle to fit in with um humanity okay so this is probably their first incarnation so they do uh, struggle with the physical body and what happens physically so maybe this is a time um to nurture someone okay nurture one of these golden children or it could be that it's time to do some inner child work um as well to free yourself up so this is a nice reminder to be tender with yourself okay and treat yourself well treat yourself with um luxury abundance and all of those different things to really help you to move forwards um at this time um the energy of this card i feel is really really nice um i also feel that it's really telling us to nourish ourselves in different ways right now with that tenderness that comes up okay um now might be a time to really look at um, the world through a child's eyes experience joy experience happiness be playful be be fun okay bring that joy and happiness into your life okay um so the next card is um the uh empathetic star seed okay so again this is the same deck and this is talking about energetic sovereignty and absorbing what's not yours okay so whatever isn't yours needs to be let go of okay we don't want to take on other people's energy because 
we feel we don't know how we're feeling about different things if we're taking on everybody else's energy okay so really connect in and see what you're feeling about different things not what everybody else um, is feeling um, around you especially if you're highly sensitive okay you're going to take on other people's energies so it's important to know how to clear your energy okay and and ground um that energy so that you're only feeling your own feelings okay and that's really really important okay it's also such a, important to remember when this card comes up is that we are um a soul in a physical body okay so again you know this is very much about self-expression it's very much about connecting into your your soul rather than your physical identity okay we all have a, a tendency to think about the physical and forget that you know we are a soul having a human experience in a human body so um, it is important to let go of all of that heavy energy so other people's energy um you know things that aren't in alignment with you and all of those different things because we want to um, energetically be in a place where we are experiencing happiness joy alignment embodiment empowerment all of those different energies okay and we can't do that when we're taking on other people's energies okay so that's really really important okay maybe you know as a a healer a star seed um a, an empath you feel like you're taking the weight of the world on your shoulders it's time to release that do what you can of course to help others to um help make change collectively okay but the weight of the world does not need to be on your shoulders so look at different ways that you can um, release some of that okay sometimes we just need to switch off as empaths we just need to you know switch off go out in nature and just focus on ourselves and our own healing um, at certain times okay so um, you know have a look at how you're feeling are these feelings actually your feelings or are you taking on the weight of the world okay so this is lineage of the rose moved by the goddess here for this soul call and gather okay so really beautiful card so you have a soul calling you have a purpose for being here as i said earlier you know this is very much about um choosing to be here at this time to help heal the world collectively to help um you know move things forwards and do um what needs to be done okay so um there's a lot of um maybe destructive energy that needs to be cleared when this comes up so you know um, ancestral patterns society patterns beliefs all of those things really really um, important that we clear all of those but this is also a confirmation that you know if you're feeling called to do something this is your soul calling you okay um, we're all as light workers being called to move forwards to shift up a gear to help heal collectively as well so you know any intuitive feelings that you get any soul whispers that you get any intuitive hits is important to um to pay attention to those and to follow those um as well this is definitely not a time for overthinking different things it's time to you know really connect into your intuition connect into your soul and allow your soul to guide you okay it's important that we are following our soul not our our minds okay because um when we start to become logical we let go of that intuition that is here to guide us okay so um you know this is a time of the goddess coming back which is really really important the goddess is leading us through um this change through the energy of the rose okay so look at different ways that perhaps you can incorporate the rose and the goddess into your day-to-day -day life 
okay so you are part of that collective team that is led by the goddess so perhaps working with roses will help you to feel more connected or work with the goddess that you feel really drawn to work with okay i'm doing a lot of work with um roses at the moment and i've got something really really exciting in the pipeline that i can't wait to share with you um but i'll do that in a couple of weeks but it's all around the rose okay so um again you know it's important to have fun and um be enjoy be in alignment and embody the whole of who you are and what you're here to do okay um and really connect into your guides your angels your spirit helpers you know whoever it is that you have around you because they will help you to connect to the goddess to help us to move forwards okay and lastly we have house 12 okay so this is from another new deck okay so this is all about spirituality transcendence karma uh, sacrificial service and healing okay so house 12 is very connected to pisces okay it's a, a very much um, a pisces card i am pisces so I really feel connected to um this card that's around the wrong way okay there's a lot of water in that so i will do a deck review on these because they're such a beautiful beautiful deck okay so maybe you have some karma that needs clearing to help you to move forwards at this time so you don't keep experiencing the same things over and over and over again it is time to live a more spiritual life helping others um, really connecting into your guides your angels akashic records whatever you're drawn to crystals um to help you to move forwards to help you to clear old patterns or beliefs and anything else that is holding you back past lives karma all of those um different things Okay, maybe you sacrifice your time and energy too much um, helping um, people that perhaps um, don't value your help. So that takes me back to the energy of um, this card, okay, and absorbing too much energy. So, you know, maybe you're not charging enough or maybe you're putting everybody else's needs in front of your own okay so this is time to really be um, aware of that energy exchange are, ch exchanges are always really really powerful so you know make sure that your um, your relationships and all of that are, are very much 50 50 okay so that you're not being um, drained of all of your energy okay so look at your language as well look at your mindset when this card comes up make sure that you're using positive language um because um that's really really important in helping you to move forwards okay and remember that you know you are a fluid being you know what you were yesterday doesn't mean that's what you have to be today so there is transcendence there there is the opportunity for for growth expansion and all of those different energies okay so house 12 um really holds lots of different wonders like imagination okay intuition all of those um, different energies, the subconscious, to help us to really move forward. So this might be a good time to put either a journaling or a meditation practice into place as well. Okay, so um, it is time to clear any karmic waters to help you to move forward. So do feel free to reach out for um, an Akashic Record reading where we can clear past lives and karma and past life energies that have been um holding you back and the same with um you know inner child i have an inner child uh, meditation that can help you there um as well so really connecting again with how you're feeling i feel that this is so important and this seems to be the theme through the whole reading is very much about connecting into your soul expressing yourself authentically um, growing and um, transcending into something far more powerful with the help of the goddess and the rose and helping the world collectively to make changes 
I feel that this is a really, really powerful time. And our first card was um, Rebirth. Okay, so it is time for us to let go of the old and start to um, really um, start again is what I'm feeling. It's time for us to start again to look at what we want to do, have, be, experience, what our life mission is, what our soul mission is, what we've come here to do, experience, and how our soul wants us to um express ourselves and how our soul wants us to be in this lifetime so really good time to look at how are you being or who are you being so i hope this reading resonates with you um i can't see any comments or um anything i can't see that any of you are live um with me but this quite often happens on my laptop so let me know how this reading resonates with you what steps you're going to take this week to grow to learn and to experience something different okay let me know if you're interested in um work with the rose as well something really really powerful coming for you soon and how you're going to express yourself more authentically this week so have a fabulous week i will be in and out of the group um all week if you want to know more about akashic record readings please feel free to reach out to me and i look forward to catching up with you again soon ciao for now